Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Guglani, and today on Raise the Line, I'm privileged to have one of our most uh, well-known guests join us, Sal Khan. And as you know, he's the founder and CEO of Khan Academy, which has reached tens of millions of learners, uh, been translated into over 40 languages. And we uh, owe a lot of our roots at Osmosis to the work he's done because uh, he had hired Rishi Desai, our chief medical officer, uh, to begin Khan Academy Health and Medicine before he joined Osmosis. So the first question I have is just, do you mind giving a bit of background about yourself and why you even started Khan Academy? Uh, and then obviously we'll go into how the past year with COVID has totally changed what, what you guys are doing. Khan Academy started uh, in a little bit of a random way back in 2004. One of my cousins was having trouble in math. So I offered to tutor her, her name's Nadia. Uh, and she agreed when she went back to New Orleans, she was 12 years old. I started working with her, started working with her younger brothers, word spread in my family, free tutoring was going on. Before I knew it, there were 10 cousins that I was working with every night, every day after, uh, after work. Uh, and with the background in software, I started writing software for them. I saw a pattern. A lot of them had gaps in their knowledge. A friend suggested that I make YouTube videos for my cousins. And I never viewed this as a business. So I set it up as a not-for-profit, uh, just thinking that, look, this could one day be maybe, you know, a new type of Oxford or Smithsonian or, you know, an institution that could be there for the world. And it was delusional. I was operating out of the same walk-in closet that I am right now to think that one day this could reach billions. But I said, well, why not? Why not try? You know, that first year was tough, but by 2010, we got our, our first philanthropic support. And, you know, the last 10 years have just been a journey of adding more content, making the software more interactive, the practice, tools for teachers, uh, and growing the users. And, and, you know, a lot of what you just talked about, the number of users and the, the, the translations and the localizations to other, other languages. Since our audience consists of millions of current and future healthcare professionals primarily, what advice would you give to somebody considering a career in healthcare? Uh, or any one of your students who, who may be considering that career, especially given what's happened with COVID? Yeah, you know, take, take anything I have to say with a grain of salt. I've been a, uh, I've, 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 I mean, one, it's, a, it's an amazing profession, but, you know, it's always good to go in with eyes wide open. Like, you know, I'll say the obvious stereotype that many, say, South Asian families, like where you and I. I know what you're uh, talking about. <laughs> uh, you know, they, they view the medical profession as like everything. And if you're not that, maybe it's nothing. Um, and so I think you really have to introspect of, as to why you're doing it. When you see the actual work of doctoring, it's a service that you're doing for people. I think the intersection between health and education is a really interesting one. So I think there's a lot of opportunity there. You know, I have a lot of friends in the venture capital community who are doing I think some interesting things in healthcare. So it's an exciting time to be a doctor, but I think it's, you know, it, it is one of those fields because it's such a, it's all encompassing. You have to go into it for the, for the, for the right reason. Thanks for watching this preview of Raised Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series. Please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raised Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.